Hey, it's Vivian J. Welcome back, Glitter Angels. And it is officially 2022. So today's video is going to be a New Year's resolutions for 2022. So you guys already know that I do this every year around the new year. I've done one back in 2018, 19, 2020, 2021, and now 2022. And I've also probably might have done one for 2017, but I don't know. Anyway, so you get to kind of hear me talk about my goals for this year and see what's planned and what we're going to be doing and what are we hoping for and all that jazz. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below for more awesome content coming soon in 2022. And without further ado, let's just get right into it, girl. So I have my resolutions written in my new journal. So this is from Amazon, the store, and it says make things happen. So I'm going to kind of start reading from there. So my first resolution for 2022 is to be more sociable, or you, I guess you could say socialize more, because this past year has been filled with um, days where I didn't really have a lot of time to socialize because of either studying or having a busy schedule. Huh? But yeah, I'm really hoping to socialize with more people because um, especially since uh, I'm a college student, I mean, I'm like, I got to put myself out there more. I just got to get out there. That's what we're hoping for. I, I hope to socialize more so that way I can improve my social life or kind of like my time to be with people because that's what's also important in film, if you didn't already know. And the second one is to remind myself to stay strong because I've had plenty of days where I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And guess what? It was a big problem. I just want to be more resilient this year. And that's what I should really be caring about. And you guys too. I'm sure you may have a similar goal as I have, but it's true. It's just important, especially for mental health or like those that struggle with mental health. And if you do too, then we all, we all can relate, haven't we? And the third one is to seek counseling more. I've had some counseling days and sometimes uh, there were some days where I was like way too busy to seek help and I barely had any time to squeeze in like 30 minutes or 45. I'm just going to plan on like talking with like a counselor, like one-on-one, -on -one, if I can do that. I just figured it would help them um, get through any day like faster and not just doing things you love, but yeah, I'm sure that makes sense. Also, speaking of seeking counseling, it is also healthy for you too, especially if you struggle with mental health, like anxiety or depression or whatever. I just need to talk to somebody, anyone, anybody is better than nobody at all. Okay, we're moving on. So the next resolution is to go to bed before 11.30 or 10.30, because I definitely might have had a struggle with um, going to bed early. I mean, don't get me wrong. Towards the beginning, it was fine because uh, there would be most days where I would sleep before like, I don't know, 10 or 30 or 11, back when I had a roommate. And also around break, I've been staying up late quite a lot and I'm like, okay, I need to, fix my sleep schedule. Like I'm going to be in bed before 10.30 or 11.30 if I can be. And the next one is eating more healthy foods or developing more healthy options, which is also perfect. Like although, uh, not gonna lie, I've been eating pretty healthy while I'm in college compared to being at home. I know probably like while I'm in town, I probably have had a lot of carbs, sugars, salts, or whatever. Right now we're just going to kind of get into this habit of eating as much healthy food as possible because that is also important. We're gonna try to keep keep it up on eating the healthy foods. Resolution number six, work out or go to the gym. Because um, ever since first semester, I barely had the time to go to the fitness center. I mean, I've been there for a couple yoga classes I figured I should do more of those since uh, those have been really helpful. Or maybe do one of the fitness classes that they provide. Or just go to the gym if I am if I can. Like whenever I just don't have any 
a lot planned. Like I could just like go to the gym in the morning if I would like. We're gonna get in shape. We're gonna be like fit as a fiddle. Seventh resolution is to go through second semester of college as a first year student, which is perfect for me because uh, I honestly cannot believe I've gotten this far already. I'm like halfway through my first year of college. I'm like, are you kidding? I was like, I never expected to get this far. Honestly, I keep saying this, but if it wasn't for my awesome professors, I would not be where I am today. So it's fabulous. We're gonna try to finish off the semester strong, like always, just like how I did in back in fall semester. I mean, it was amazing. And the eighth resolution is to get involved with more film opportunities. When I was in college and like in towards the beginning, as much as I wanted to do like singing, dancing, and filming again, I remember during time during the time when XL was an audition group. As much as I really wanted to dance with them and like be a part of their team, I definitely realized that I wasn't gonna have enough time. There may be days where I may not have time to dance at all. That's why I changed to, from being a dancer to a filmmaker. Well, not like a filmmaker, but like I'm part of the film crew. Since I filmed XL's performance. That made me think, okay, I really want to do more film stuff while I'm at college. I'm going to plan to do more film opportunities if I can do that. Like, mainly for, like, and by film opportunities, I mean, like, probably mainly for dance or, or just probably create a couple more short films. I don't know, but we'll see. The ninth resolution is to keep learning new languages, which is also perfect for me because... Uh, I am quite a language enthusiast. Like for example, not only did I take Italian this past semester, but I also am open up to languages such as um, French, Vietnamese, well, still Japanese. I haven't been really doing a lot of that. And I also would like, am open up to learning Thai or Mandarin Chinese. I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep up with learning new languages because I figure that's another thing that I'm interested in and I'm like, okay, well, perhaps uh, I can work with those that speak more than just English. Or at least uh, if someone doesn't know English or a lot of it, I can help that person. So that is also cool. And the 10th resolution I have is to take constructive feedback well. So I don't know if you guys already know, but in high school, I had a, such a hard time receiving constructive criticism. It was terrible. In the beginning of college, I slowly got used to it. It was like a slow adjustment for me. All I cared about was just taking like constructive criticism the right way. I just have a tendency to like cry for no reason. I don't know why. It's just, I'm like, it's just me, you know? No one can control it, but yeah, it's true. So this year I'm planning to kind of get used to being getting feedback anyway, because I think two of the pro three of the professors told me that feedback is an important part in college. So I'm gonna keep taking that. So, so I've got two bonus ones, which are practicing self-care slash managing mental health and doing more collab videos. So for the self-care part, um, Reason why, because um, there were a lot of days where I had no time to do some self-care because uh, I've been like struggling with uh, finding a balance between coursework and activities and I'm just going to keep on doing what I can to help take care of myself if I feel burned out or stressed or just really upset for whatever reason. And managing mental health is also important because uh, I don't know about you, but don't we all struggle with it? Thumbs up if you can relate. Yeah, it's true. We're gonna keep working on that anyway. And the last one is doing more collab videos because I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm beginning to meet more new people that are from outside of the US. And one of my goals is to become friends with those that are part of any Asian culture or just any culture really or ethnicity. Like, no limitations necessary. Like, I'm just like, I gotta keep me meeting people anyway, because in the film world, it's like, you may not know, like, all of the people that do, like, the film work, but at least you gotta know, like, the majority of people. Yep, those are the goals that I have for 2022. And also, I want you guys to comment down below what your goals are for this 2022. 
It could be either the same goal that I have or a different goal. It doesn't really matter. Just simply tell me your main resolution for 2022 and I wish you luck on achieving that goal. And that concludes my New Year's resolutions for 2022. I know it's a lot, but I just have a lot of high hopes for the new year in general. 2021 might have been another hard year for most people, or but at least it was a little bit better than 2020. Don't we all agree? I wish you all the best of luck for 2022. And I'm sending a lot of happiness, hope, and also a resilience because that's another important thing. Stay strong, you guys. For the for my friends that are watching this video right now, if you, if you ever need help or if you just need to talk to, just go ahead and do so. Just go ahead, talk to me. We can all be friends. Can we all have a group hug, please? Group hug, group hug. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new videos from me. And of course, you wanna be the first to catch up on my content. And please share with your friends and follow me on all social media, which are linked in the description below. I love you all so much to the moon and back and peace out. And I'll talk to you later and also have a wonderful day. Love you, toodles. And good luck to all of you this 2022 again.